Okay. Welcome to Animals Under the Blanket. Today we're talking about the letter E. So in the last episode, we had my dad come and talk about elephants, which is his favorite animal. And he shared that so nicely with Joshua. So that was our our land animal for today. And we're going to talk about four other animals in this episode. We're going to talk about the electric eel, the eagle, the... We were talking about the eel, eagle right now. Yeah, we'll talk about the eel right, uh, eagle right now. And then the echidna. And what was the last one? Elk. Those are the animals, the E animals that we're going to talk about today. We already had the bonus episode with elephants. Let's talk about the eagle. Let's talk about the eagle. The eagle, you want to try and say the scientific name? You say the A. Yeah, I'll say it. Helitus leucucophysalus. How much is that? Oh, I can't say it. Let's just say eagle. That one, that scientific name eagle. has to be like 26 letters in two two words. So that one's hard to say. Uh, so Joshua, when you see a group of e- eagles, you see a bunch, then they're called a convocation of eagles. Convocation? Convocation of eagles. What a chicken scientific name. I don't know what a chicken scientific <laughs> name is. Did you remember seeing an eagle? Do you remember the other day we saw one? When? When we were at the school park with your cousins. And, the, and we said, look up! There's a big eagle! And it was up, 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 up high in the air! Yeah, it was up high in the air! And uh, when it was up high in the air, what color was its head? There's a few different types of eagles, but the bald eagle has what color of head? Do you remember? Yellow. Yellow? That was a close guess. It's actually white. And how they get the And the golden eagle is all yellow. Yeah, the golden eagle does have a way more yellowish uh, hue to it. Yeah, it's a a golden brown maybe. If I put a fire with the eagle, the eagle turns into a golden eagle. Oh, when we play Beast of Balance? And when we put a eagle on the sometimes add a fire to make it a golden eagle. Yeah, you really like playing that game, don't you? To make a golden eagle. It does make a golden eagle. When we put a fire. Yeah. So, golden uh, eagles, I have watched an eagle swoop down and take a fish right from the water when we were at a lake. They can do that. So, they eat fish. Uh, and they eat anything that's kind of left left out. So maybe some carcasses, maybe some small mice. Um. And one time at the beach, we saw a buoy. You saw a buoy at the beach? Um, what did you see? What did I see at the beach? I saw a lot of seagulls at the beach. What did you see at the beach that had water that had something in the water? Something in the water? Maybe a fish? I don't know. No, there was something on top of the water. A boat? No. A person? No. What did it look like? It looked like it was a white buoy or something like that. Oh, it was a buoy? Yeah, probably to tell us where we can and can't swim. So the fish, so that's one thing that the eagle eat is a fish. And sometimes they steal food from other predators that have already killed the animal they'll steal it and that's one of the reasons why benjamin franklin was a little bit weary of making the eagle the the icon of america they have the bald eagle as kind of their national animal but uh the stealing was a f- something that the benjamin franklin didn't really want what was the benjamin franklin oh, so he was a guy from the past that helped make america way back when And uh, let's talk about the eagle a little bit more. The eagle, its average lifespan is up to 28 years. It has a body that is 86 centimeters to 109 centimeters, so almost a meter. And one beach that we went to had a a, a, a port that had a searing bus at it, and then another port... That had a little bit of sand in it. Also had a bus. Oh, okay. And we went and jived in that bit 
bus. Oh, cool. <laughs> Do you like driving in buses? Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, then the other, another thing about an eagle is that they're believed to mate for life. So that they, they have their, they find a, a boy and a girl find each other and then they stay together for life. Just like mommy and daddy. Our whole life we're, we're staying together. Do you want to talk about our next animal? Our next animal, we could talk about the electric eel or we could talk about the elk that you saw at the zoo. I'm going to see that. I'm going to talk about the elk, elk, elk. Let's talk about the elk, elk, elk. So the elk, the scientific name is Cervus canadaeneus. Okay. Can you say that? And, uh, ah, I can't say it. Can you say Cervus? Cervus. Very good. And can you say canadaeneus? Canadaeneus. Oh, that was very good. Very well done. But I couldn't say it. You couldn't say it the first time, so you had to sound it out? Uh, so the group of elk? I didn't say it the first time. Time. You couldn't say it the first time? That's okay. The name of a, a group of elks is called a gang. A gang. A gang. Hey, look at those elks over there. There's a gang of them. There's a gang of those elks. But if we see just one, two, three, four elks and um, a mommy and a daddy and the babies and the Joshua, there would be four elks. And if... A kitty came by the elks and the elephants. We would go run, 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 run. <laughs> and yeah. we would jump on the kitty. Oh, you think so? Yeah, and jump on the elephant and then we would ride away. <laughs> that would be fun. We would uh, ride that, away. They probably could step on a, a, a cat because they are about a meter high. So 1.22 meters. To 1.5 meters. Could we jump on a little cat? We could jump on a little cat. We won't because that would be mean to the cat. Uh, but they probably could jump onto the onto the elephant, maybe if they if they really took a running start and then hopped up onto it. Uh, and they weigh quite a lot, so they weigh one, if, one and a half daddies to five and a half if, daddies. If there was so a in, dog, in pounds, if there was a donut. On top of a kissed burger, that would be four daddies. That would be four daddies? Yeah. Yeah, so it's about 325 pounds to uh, 1,100 pounds. And let's talk about three daddies, then four daddies. <laughs> yeah, three daddies, then four daddies? Yeah. So it would be kind. Of, it would be between one, two, one, one three, and a half daddies four, and five, dad, five and a half daddies. Five Five daddies, yeah. Three daddies. Three daddies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere in there. And uh, when we went to the zoo, do you remember when the zookeeper showed us the elk antler? Do you remember when he came out and showed us t that to us? What's the elk antler? It was a big piece that came out of his head. And it was the zookeeper had it because every March they fall off and they start to grow new ones. So the extra one he was going to bring to the owl exhibit because the snowy owl likes to perch on those antlers and use its claws to kind of sharpen sharpen its claws on them. And, and dig holes in them with the claws. Yeah, that's, that's what the owl was going to do with the antlers. And then we saw the elk multiple times growing and, his antlers. And digging a big hole. Digging a big hole? Yeah. The Antonado is, is I'm able a, to dig holes. I'm a, I'm a owl that's big, digging a big hole. Oh, you're an owl that's big, digging a big hole? Very cool. And one other thing about those antlers, they kind of have a velvet on them until no, until they... Uh, sit on the hole that I make. Sit on the hole that I make? Can you just push it over just a little bit? Perfect. Uh, so that's something about the, the elk. And then they grow back by March. So they take about two or three months to grow back. And do you know that when an uh, elk has a baby, after the mating season is done, then that elk can stand on its, on its four legs within 20 minutes of being born. And, and 
if an ant and no other go to an elk and a bunny go to an elk and a bee go to an elk and a fowl go to an elk and a bee dust go to an elk, that would be a lot of animals. That would be a lot of animals. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. And it took and you it we... took you a lot longer to walk or even stand up. Probably like six to nine months. I forgot to ask mummy. She always remembers the numbers better. But it takes you got you months and the babies it took them months and months until they started uh, going on their feet. But the, the elk can do that kinda right away. Pretty cool, hey? <laughs> So those are the, and I, I don't know what, if I told you how long they live. They live about 8 to 12 years. That's kind of how long the elk lives. And people hunt elk for, for meat. You're lying on the hole now? Okay, do you want to move on to the electric eel or enchanada? I want to do the enchanada at the end. Save the enchanada for the end? Okay, yeah. so that's what you guys have to wait for. I want to do the, the electric eel now. Yeah, let's do the electric eel. So when there's a group of electric eel, they're called a swarm. A swarm of eels. Isn't that a cool word? Can you say swarm? Swarm. Yeah, swarm of eels. So they live. They can live up to 15 years. They can get... 15 years? Yeah, 15 years. They can get up to 1.83 meters. That's, that's not a water. All the way up to 2.44, so six to eight feet. That's not a lot of eels. That's not a lot of eels? No. Oh. These are elephants. Oh, say elephants? Yeah. That's the mummy elephant. That's the mummy elephant? Yeah, and the daddy elephant is in Ethan's bed. Yep, the daddy elephant is in Ethan's bed. So that's what you talked about with Grandpa. We talked about elephants, our other E word. And you learned a bunch of stuff about them. And Grandpa being a long elephant and he called that elephant. I don't know what that elephant's name was then. It started Grandpa. with an E. Was it Elmer? It's Elmer. Elmer the elephant? Yeah. Uh, so the electric eel, should we say the scientific name? And ancient at the end. Enchanadas at the end, yeah. So the scientific name of the electric eel is Electrophorus. Electric forest. Electric forest. And then it has a second part, Electricus. 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 Yeah, very good. So they weigh, they can weigh up to about 44 pounds. So they can weigh a little bit heavier than you. That would be like 1.5 Joshua's. That's how heavy they get. I mean, if I take four Joshua's. Four Joshua's, that would be a little bit too heavy. That'd be about 120 pounds. Uh, and, and then you would carry me. Carry you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're famous because they actually it's send famous. an electric current. And it's kind of like radar. Kind of all around them, they have a low 10 Ooh. volt. It kind of goes, oh, and then if I was an electric eel, I would have I would have felt that coming towards me just before because I, I would have the current from the water. And if... <laughs> That's a, fast electric eel. a fast electric eel, yeah. So that is what they would do after they would give that, maybe that monkey an electric shock to give it to, so that they would be able to eat it. So they have like 6,000 specialized cells that are electrocytes and then when they get close to the animal then they give off the electric current and then it zaps and stuns the fish and then they oh, bite the fish so they wouldn't eat monkeys but they would eat they would eat fish the electric eel would but it, you electric eel now? i was pretending to be oh, i was pretending to be an electric eel to show you how it it kind of electrics and it, it kind of goes. So yeah, then they they swim around and they they always they they can't see very well and they also have to breathe air so they have to come up for air. The electric eels do. And we saw a video of the of the end animal and the electric eel. Yeah, we did the last animal, the enchanada. 
Should we talk about the enchilada now? No, no, no. What else do you want to talk about? Talk about the eel that it, it, it that it eats fish, eats fish again. That it eats fish again? <laughs> and even though it's a called an eel, apparently it's more like a catfish than it's like an eel. And it kind of looks like a catfish. It has that flat face of a catfish, but it doesn't have big uh, fins to be able to... F- to kind of swim through the water. It just has a kind of a snake-like motion, right? Kind of just goes snaking. But I, and and if it, you go drink this. Yeah. It would be a rooster eel. It would be a rooster eel if it went like that. Yeah. <laughs> very, very fun, Joshua. What else do you want to talk about our e animals before we jump to the last one what do ants start with ants start with the letter a so the enchilada actually eats ants and termites like, like the ant eater? it is kind of like the ant eater it kind of has a long a long tongue like the ant eater it's a very weird animal animal the enchilada it's in the same category as a platypus because they lay eggs and they're mammals and it has spikes on its back to protect itself. And it has the ability to dig a and little bit of a hole and cover itself up. A little bit of a platypus. We saw a little bit of a platypus on the video that we watched about the enchilada Because they're the only two mammals that lay eggs. Because <laughs> Enchilada. <laughs> yeah. And the enchilada can roll up in a, in a ball. Can you roll up in a ball like an enchilada? Enchilada? You roll up in a ball? Oh, that's a good ball. And then you'd have spikes here so that if I tried to get you, uh, I would have, ow, my hand, if I tried to touch it. Ow, my hand. And then I'd leave you alone. That's how they stay away from predators. Cool, hey? And they also keep, um, they keep their babies in a little pouch. <laughs> Kind of like a marsupial, kind of like a, a kangaroo is what the enchilada does. Weird, hey? Yeah. So a few more facts about the enchiladas. When they're in a group, they're called a parade. Isn't that a fun grouping? I, I like all the groupings of the animals. They all have kind of funny groupings. The elephant, for example, is just a herd. I find that one's kind of boring because that's the same as cows and and that one's not as fun, but a parade of enchiladas is pretty cool. So they get up to 30 to 45 centimeters with oop, with a seven and a half centimeter snout. So their snout is quite long and protruded. And their scientific name is a taclo, oh, tac, tachyglossus. Can you say tachyglossus? <laughs> and then the second part of it is Aculatus. Can you say aculatus? Aculatus. Yeah, that's pretty close. So that's their scientific name. So like I was saying, they eat ants because they have a really long tongue, just like the ant eater, and it's very sticky. So then their snout is pointy, so it can stick into the places where ants are in their little ant hills, and it can also stick into where the termites are to eat the termites. So that's that's its diet. And the funny word for having a mammal, mammal, oh, out of your head. You okay? Are you a rolled up enchilada? And uh, they actually, they hibernate they're like bears. So in the, in the autumn, they, they go into, they kind of burrow. Cool, hey? I'm the daddy enchilada. Very cool, huh, Joshua? You you got the roll of the enchilada down perfectly. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Wow. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Animals Under the Blanket. If you're on Spotify, give this a follow. If you're on YouTube, give it a subscribe and a like. And that would be much appreciated. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator bear. 
in a while, crocodile. <laughs>